the right thing. This is something for those of you who picked up the program on the way in. This is a quote. Cowardice asks the question, is it safe? Expediency asks the question, is it politic? Vanity asks the question, is it popular? But conscience asks the question, is it right? And there comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular, but one must take it because it is right. And that's a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And in regards to what people are finding the right thing to do, that's part of what we address here. And I'd like to introduce, sure, <laughs> come on up. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Charlene, and I'm an event coordinator for the Zeitgeist Movement. And I've also been on a little bit of an informal Occupy tour uh, related to work. I was uh, at Occupy LA for the kickoff, and then up to Santa Barbara for the kickoff of Occupy Santa Barbara, and then over to Santa Fe, New Mexico for the kickoff of theirs. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And it's interesting to see what's happening. Um, what I've noticed that's the same in all of them is um, a full range of people, every type of people. And it seems like there's such a craving for community. And people are coming together and everyone's asking, well, what do they stand for? Because it's really easy to see what everyone's against. Um, in fact, that's probably how it was easy to unify. As, as it's not, it doesn't take much effort to see what's wrong in the world. And so you see all the signs for all the different issues. Uh, what we in the Zeitgeist Movement are advocating at the Occupy movements and, and just generally speaking is um, a redesign of our culture and the way we uh, set up society. And a lot of the angles that the Occupy movement tie into this when they talk about the monetary system, the greed, and, and the way it's so unjust in our society. And you'll hear a couple of presentations after me uh, from Jason and Peter describing what's called a resource-based economic model. And um, that is where it, we take care of each other and animals, the earth, and all living things, which is the most loving and humanitarian thing you can do. So we're just trying to insert that into the conversation at these Occupies to show the alternative after you protest what you're against, what are you for? And that's what we've been advocating. I want to share with you, uh, there was a statement released today from Cairo in solidarity with the Occupy movement. And one thing I, that they said I thought was really interesting is, we're not protesting. Uh, who is there to protest to? What, what could we ask them for that they could grant? We are occupying and we are reclaiming the public space and changing the, the conversation and culture, really. Um, th it seems like with Obama, it was the last uh, hope for a leader to change anything or use the political process to affect change. And um, one other thing that Cairo said, which I thought was great, is they said, we're all watching one another now. And from Cairo, we want to say that we are in solidarity with you and we love you for what you're doing. So it seems like people are really understanding that it's, it's more than just a piece of legislation or a political leader to do anything. Um, it's like Krishnamurti said, Peter has it in his films, of um, there are no more leaders, there are no more gurus, there are no more teachers. We're all the teachers, we're all the leaders, we're all the gurus. Um, one other thing, I read a quote, um, Marianne Williamson, a lecturer and author, spoke at Occupy LA twice, and she brought up a really good point that Dr. Martin Luther King said, is that when the de desegregation of the American South was the political goal of the civil rights movement, but the deeper goal was the establishment of the beloved community. And I think that there's really nothing more beloved than to take care of each other. And as you, it, once you learn about a resource-based economy, you'll see that it's the most beloved thing you can do is take care of each other. And so I think there's a real spirit, uh, there's a real awakening in the collective consciousness right now towards that. And I think um, there's that urge to join with others in, in, in working towards a better world. So I want to welcome you here today and you'll be introduced to some concept that, that might be new to you, but um, just know that it's a good alternative from what we're living in now.